Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a really obscure and a fun twist on an old game. This is a game called Save the Bee. There's a little bee right there. I swear it still looks more like, I don't know, like an orange Winnie the Pooh to me, but it's called a bee. This is very much like the game Penguin Trap, which is similar to the game Don't Break the Ice. But the difference is it's set up vertically. And using the spinner, I will spin and then remove some of the pieces until the bee will fall. Now normally, of course, you're playing with somebody else, and whoever makes the bee fall is the loser. Since I'm guaranteed to lose, that means I'm also guaranteed to be the winner. So, yay, that'll be fun for me. But basically, we have Newton's first law of motion happening right here. All the objects at rest will remain at rest until um, acted upon by an outside unbalanced force. Look, nothing's happening to me. Newton's first law. I spin my spinner. It tells me I can knock out a piece of a particular color. So I'm going to knock out this little green piece right here. And that gives me Newton's second law. <clears throat> it takes a force to accelerate a mass. I'm going to use the force of my little uh, wand right here to accelerate the honeycomb piece right out the back of it. So that's Newton's second law in action. i okay, got to move a blue one this time. So I can pop that piece right out, Newton's second law. But you notice the rest of them are unacted upon because there's no force acting on them. Newton's first law still applies. You're also noticing Newton's third law of motion as we play a little bit. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force. Notice that they resist moving. So as I tap on them, they basically try to stay in place. And sometimes they'll shake a little bit. That's because their inertia wants them to stay in one spot. The friction is holding them in one direction, and I'm pushing the other. Those are equal and opposite forces happening as I play. See all the other ones around it shift that time? That's Newton's uh, third law. For a force, there's equal and opposite. The friction is pushing on them, and all the others kind of pull back. Oh, lost my turn on that one. Oh, well. i got to remove a purple one. Now, eventually, I'm just going to start removing enough of these that we're going to see Newton's... Uh, Look at that. You see all, the, all of them shifting there? We're going to see Newton's uh, second law in action. Uh, the force of gravity is going to cause the other pieces to accelerate. As you can see, they're getting looser and looser as it is. So Newton's third law is getting weaker. And so the friction that's holding them in one place, their inertia and friction is not nearly as strong as it had been up to this point. Oh, I knocked down the B. Mr. Skinner, you're the loser. Or the winner. But I'm the winner. You know that. I wonder what happens if I keep tapping. Newton's second law in motion. Objects in motion. Stayed in motion. Delhi hit the ground. We saw that with the B. Now we saw it with the rest of them.